Gentuit is a living cellular sheet composed of allogeneic cultured keratinocytes and fibroblasts in bovine collagen matrix and the first living product FDA approved for oral regeneration. Gentuit is advancing treatment options for mucogingival conditions and loss of keratinized gingiva around teeth, implants, or on edentulous ridges. Keratinocyte and fibroblast cells are the foundation of organogenesis cell-based therapies. These cells are isolated from donated human tissue and expanded numerous times to create cell banks from which thousands of Gentuit units are manufactured. The cells undergo rigorous and extensive safety testing for a wide range of pathogens and potential for tumorigenicity. Advanced quality control methods analyze the development, function, potency, and microbiological safety of the manufactured units to ensure consistent quality. Manufacture of Gentuit begins with combining living human fibroblasts with bovine collagen to form a cellular matrix. These fibroblasts then produce a wide array of human proteins that impart structural properties to the developing matrix. Subsequent introduction or seeding of keratinocytes over the fibroblast-filled matrix initiates a cellular crosstalk between the two cell types. Both cell types produce soluble bioactive proteins known as cytokines and growth factors that influence development. Keratinocytes release many cytokines, including interleukin-1, to underlying fibroblasts. This synergistic activity produces growth factors and cytokines from fibroblasts that accelerate keratinocyte migration and proliferation, as well as angiogenic growth factors such as vascular endothelial growth factor and basic fibroblast growth factor. Both cell types secrete transforming growth factor beta, influencing epidermal morphogenesis and matrix synthesis within the product. The keratinocytes also produce beta defensin, an antimicrobial protein. Gintuit is stored on a polycarbonate membrane on agarose gel medium in the shipping tray. The cellular sheet is lifted from the membrane, Z-folded for adequate thickness for suturing, and trimmed to the surgically prepared vascular wound bed. The fibroblast side is placed in direct contact with the surgically prepared wound bed with the outermost keratinocyte side facing the oral cavity. Gintuit can be applied around teeth, implants, or edentulous sites. It does not function as a tissue graft and does not persist long term. Although the mechanism by which Gintuit increases keratinized tissue has not been identified, the living cells provide growth factors, cytokines, and extracellular matrix proteins known to be involved in wound repair and regeneration. This treatment predictably generates keratinized tissue without the size limitations or second surgical site of free gingival palatal graft. In addition, the regenerated tissue matches the color and texture of surrounding tissue, providing aesthetically pleasing, healthy gums.